Greetings, questers. I'm here just to show you how to get a new game started in a very short period of time. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just show you that uh, when you log in, you're landing on your home page. And uh, from here, you can just simply click the Create New Game button. And from here, all you just do is give it a name. And then you're going to pick a game type. And the game type is whatever you want it to be. And in this case, we'll just pick a D&D 5th &D edition, edition game type. Uh, and um, It'll automatically pick the dice bag and journal theme. These, these are for more advanced options as you go along. Um, but uh, from there, we'll just hit Create. And once you go in, it will immediately uh, build uh, an empty map for you. Um, and you can have multiple maps. But from here, we can just take uh, any image or WebM file uh, for a video, and we can just drag it right over. And it will automatically uh, begin uploading. It will upload a static image first, and then it will upload the actual video. And from here, uh, there you go. You now have a map. Uh, it'll give you all the map settings and show you all that stuff. Uh, and then you can just turn off what you're editing in the layers. And so once you're done uh, getting yourself set up, uh, that's pretty much it for getting your map squared away. You can look through uh, the map's basics tutorial. Uh, you can also close that. And then you can just simply create a character. Uh, come in, click Add. We'll make uh, one of my favorite characters to do, uh, which is Elfric. I'll hit Save here. Um, and then I can just go over to the PC character sheet. And from here, I just start filling in all the details. Um, it's really easy to do. It's very uh, open-ended, gives you a lot of options to, to create what you need. Um, but you can also come in here and use the import settings. Uh, and I can use a D&D Beyond character. I can grab the character ID from D&D uh, Beyond. And you can find that right inside the URL uh, at the top of your page uh, when you go to view your character sheet on D&D Beyond. And you can just paste it in. And it will uh, go through a process of uh, uh, loading all the data. Um, and from here, you can just uh, right-click inside of this uh, block here and select everything. And then you can just simply copy it and paste it right here. And it will tell you that it's ready to import. And there you go. And you can import your entire character from D&D Beyond right inside of here. Um, and that's easy for uh, players to do. Uh, you can also do the same thing with monsters. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit more uh, involved. Uh, and I'll show you a quick example. And what I can do uh, is I'll go back and I'll uh, add another character. And in this case, I'm going to do Goblin. I'm going to pick an NPC character sheet. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an import. And then I'm going to say D&D Beyond Monster Stat Block. And from here, all we have to do is go over to D&D Beyond. And you'll go to the, the specific uh, page of that creature. And then you can just copy this. Control-C. And then come back, paste that right in there, and hit import. And so it's that easy to get yourself started with some D&D 5th edition. And uh, from there, you can go into the settings. Uh, you can pick uh, some imagery. And I've picked uh, my image for my character. And I will select it. And then it will get added to... Uh, it can get added as a borderless token, uh, but that was actually a short mistake. I can simply remove it, and then I can actually select an existing image, uh, one that's already in the asset gallery, and use that here. And then I can set up my thumbnail so that it fills the space, and then I can change my frame style so that I can give myself a little bit of flair for the way I like my sheets, or for the way I like my tokens. And this is, this is if you use uh, non-borderless tokens. And I can save that real quick. And then I can hit back. And all I gotta do is simply drop my token on the map. And there you go. It's that simple to get yourself set up and running a game. So in under five minutes, we were able to get a game started, drop a map, and uh, even an animated map. And we have tokens and we can move our tokens around. And you have all the, the features that you need to, to run a very simple and basic game. Um, and that's it. Uh, so I want to say thank you for stopping by. Keep questing.